Hello, Capricorns. Capricorns, all right, let's get into it. This reading is for the 8th through the... We're going to try to keep it short and sweet. Uh, so I, I say... <laughs> That's what I always... Well, I say always. But no, from the 8th through the 15th, okay? So 15th will be the full moon we have this time. But from the 8th through the 15th, so next seven days, right? So happy first quarter moon. So the theme as we move into the moon into the moon in Aquarius is what is stopping you from living your ideal life, right? So if you have fluorite, fluorite is a stone that'll help you to turn any kind of chaos and confusion into order, like order, right? That's a great stone for that. For those of you all, um, it's a great tool for having, you know, like on your bedside, by your bedside. Um, um, giving you, helping you to see the bigger picture of things, right? It gives order to chaos. Fluorite does. So, great stone for that. But yeah, the question is, what is stopping you from living your ideal life? Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into it. Talking to you wherever Capricorn is in your birth chart. We're going to try to keep it short and sweet, Capricorns. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards as we get closer and closer to that full moon. But it's first quarter moon. First quarter moon is really about putting some, putting some structure, more structure. You and Aquarius actually share the ruling planet Saturn. That's right, Saturn. That's right. Saturn is currently retrograde. So you can put that list together list remember when the moon was in saturn that's where you were saying okay everybody not just you but that's where the theme was more or less like um energy hacks and energy leaks right so try not to uh, hold on to anything that was um causing any unnecessary stress you know in your life anything anybody that was causing any unnecessary stress that's including certain foods, watching anything on social media, any unnecessary stress. All right. How to relieve some stress. So here we have the chariot card. Here we also have the seven of cups. Here we have the earth, yeah, the world card, right? Okay. The universe card. Here we also have the death card. Here we have the star card, right? So the chariot card, right? So don't worry about, um, don't stress yourself out if you were married or thought about getting married or just the whole idea of marriage, right? Try not to stress out over that. Who compared you, you know, who, if you were ever married to anybody, who compared your marriage to previous marriage? That's, that's unnecessary. You can release all of that. <laughs> you can release all of that. Or if you're a product of a marriage, right? Step parents don't even all of that release is unnecessary. You can go ahead and close that out. That's what I feel that's unnecessary for you. That's really, really unnecessary for you, right? Or the chariot card, which is your polarity sign, right? So that's the mother of the zodiac, right? So comparing your mom to somebody else's mom, right? All that out the window, right? That's a death card, right? So you know, or um, hold it out the window. Or if your mom is not around or somebody else's mom is around and somebody's trying to, you know, make you feel some kind of way because it's the I feel sign, out the window, right? Out the window. Hold it out the window. That's unnecessary. That's unnecessary, right? You may feel some kind of way, but if somebody starts to practice taking good memories with you, then you'll feel better. You'll feel better, right? And the universe is fully in favor of that. Fully in favor of that, right? Is a star card. Everybody has their own star to follow. Everybody has their own star to follow. Everybody has their own star to follow, right? Don't be tempted to vibrate lower, especially when, you know, the scales from your eyes have been removed about certain things. 
because people will try to tempt you to vibrate on their frequency. They'll try to have little conversations around you. Oh, this. You know what comes to mind? What movie is that? There's a lot of movies out. A lot of things that people try to tempt you to vibrate on a lower frequency. Keep your vibrations high. A lot of good things come when your vibrations are high. You have that, that fork in the road when you can vibrate, go, go, that's right, go light or go dark. So I say, always go light. Always go light. Right. Yeah, in the death card. Death card came out twice. All right. So somebody definitely has a guardian angel watching over them. Definitely has a guardian angel. No watching over them. All right. Here's a queen of swords here. All right. So swords is saying, you know, sit on your throne, carefully vet your thoughts. All right. Here we have the five of wands here. So don't get into any fights over anything. This is like I said, bait and switch. People try to get people into arguments all the time. Trying to bait you into some stuff and then switch up. Don't get into that. Don't get into that. Not even worth it. And we have the two of cups here. Right? Some of you have land predators and you have um, emotional predators. Right? So people try to emotionally get you into things. Like try to get into your head. Sometimes people physically try to get stuff started. Right? Oh, your mom's not around. You know, trying to push you around. Trying to do those physical stuff. Right? Um... So seven and two is nine. Nine is nine of cups is um, wish fulfillment, right? So what people are trying to do when they're trying to tempt you is trying to take away whatever your wishes are. Whatever your wishes are, right? So whatever you've been praying for, if you can just if somebody can keep that at the top of their at the top of your you know, the top of your mind, whatever your wishes are, that's what people are trying to take away from you. So if you've been wishing one day, I wish, you know, to get married one day, right? Imagine getting, you know, not having emotional intelligence. That's taking away somebody's freedom, right? Get into a fight, taking away somebody's freedom. Or, you know... I, you know, I really wish, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, I wish something, I don't know, I wish whatever, um, anything, whatever you wish, you know, if somebody could just easily just like, um, uh, push a button, right, just wish something, so source. It's really trying to get people to be on their throne. Carefully vet your thoughts. Carefully vet your thoughts. All right. Carefully just vet your thoughts. All right. Here we have the um, the wheel of fortune right here. So somebody's going to feel very, very fortunate, you know, to just really, really have a guardian angel, you know, really watching over you. Really have a guardian angel watching over you. Really have a guardian angel watching over you. All right. So stay in the posture of gratitude. Stay in a posture of gratitude. Six of Swords. Like I keep saying, prayer warriors. Prayer warriors. It's a tower card. That's a tower card coming out. So now y'all starting to see how good tower cards are, right? You got people praying for you, right? Prayer warriors. Um, prayers can reach far beyond what people think. So when you see a tower card, it's not always people think, oh my God, I'm having a tower moment. It's just really like a tap on the shoulder to say, stay focused on the purpose, the reason why you're here. Stay focused, the reason why you're here. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. So even when people move on and you don't see you have their physical presence around you, 
They could know that you're in a toxic environment. They could know that. They can know that you're sad. They can know that you're crying. They can know that you're around. They can know that you're around energies that are talking negatively about them. They can know that. They can know that you can be frustrated, right? Um, they can know that people can jump to conclusions. It can be quite impulsive, jump to conclusions about a whole lot of things that can make you sad. But they can be mature enough to pray for you. That you just get back to what you love to do. Just work hard. All right. All right. Get back to work. Work hard. All right. I feel like you have a whole new lease on life. And you have Page of Pentacles. So you all are divinely protected. You're divinely protected. All right. Six of Coins. So some kind of an approval for money is coming through for somebody. All right. I see you being successful. Very happy, very successful. Very happy, very successful. All right. Trying to just piece some things together. Somebody just trying to make some make some sense of it all. Just trying to make some sense of it all. Here we have Ace of Cups here. So, very compassionate energies coming through who understand depression. Somebody's, um, you know, talking about some just very compassionate energies coming through. They get it. They get it. They get it. They understand. They understand death. They understand when it, what it feels like when you lose loved ones. And you have people around you who don't understand. And death comes in many forms. It comes in a form of physical loved ones dying, friends, when people move away. It comes across when when marriages end. It comes in it comes in a form of it comes in a lot of different forms. So they help you, somebody help you piece some things together to make it make sense comes in a lot of different forms and how it can come out of this and just a frustration it's come across this frustration it can also come across as people just being shady around you not really helping you you don't know what to say and how it can come out it just comes out of many different forms here we have the uh, four of wands here right so I feel like um when somebody looks back, I feel like somebody's going to say, you know, something did not, you know, you can come through this long and arduous prayer, like, you know, like I said, you have prayer warrior, you know, you, um, I feel like somebody's going to look back and just say certain things, having a certain spirit did not produce a lot of results, it didn't produce a lot of growth there. And, uh, You know, just having that angry spirit jumping to conclude just didn't produce a lot of results. Didn't produce a lot of results, right? And we had the King of Swords here. So somebody has always been incredibly smart. Incredibly smart. But also maybe being incredibly stubborn too. Maybe because you're kind of wired that way, you know. But this right here also lets me know that somebody is also incredibly patient with people. You're incredibly patient with people and very generous, you know, with people as well. You're also wired that way too. But what Source is trying to help somebody to learn how to do is also water that part of yourself. But sometimes that part, if you're if you're around energy vampires, if because that's a fixed energy, if you're around the wrong people, toxins can grow. If that makes sense. Like if you're around the wrong people and you're a fixed energy and you're pouring people who are constantly mirroring, if you're around mirroring spirits, 
Um, they're always copying all your creativity. They're stealing your ideas constantly, stealing your ideas, copying everything you do. They see how gifted and talented you are. They're just copying everything that you do. Um, very unhealthy. Very, very unhealthy to be around those types of spirits. Even though there's nothing new under the sun, you know, everybody has their um, their uniqueness. But to be around people who just don't want to do the work, they just copy everything. It's like literally you sit there with all this work in. You might as well just hand your paper over to them. Cause they ain't, they're not even trying to do the work. <laughs> you just like, you didn't even read it. <laughs> and you just want to just copy paste, right? Copy everything you study so hard for. So you put the work in, they just copying everything. So, but yeah, so that's what I'm seeing here. So it's just saying, yeah, it, it, it can be frustrating when you, when you put in all the work as a parent and somebody want to just, steal everything that you did as a parent like they come in like you know oh look how they do a little bit of work and try to take all the credit for it as a parent you know oh i came in and you know if it wasn't for me their child would have been lost and confused right when it really takes a village or if or, you know or you know your person who um, put all this work in your creativity and your friends just take all you try to take all the credit or steal everything you've done you know these toxic emotional you know like I said emotional vampires this is what's coming out what I kept saying in your reading for a long time there's two energies I kept seeing I was like it's two energies that I kept seeing in your cards that I just kept seeing somebody kept having a tower moment I kept saying it's a Scorpio it's a, it was another one I kept saying they keep, they keep, they kept somebody confused. I kept saying, y'all need to let them go. Y'all need to cut them off. Somebody was like, well, I still speak to them. I still, you know, I'm just cordial. I'm like, nah, y'all need to end it. Like, you don't even know them ended. But somebody just kept staying. Yeah. Yeah, when you're when you're dealing with when you're dealing with manipulators, when you're dealing with master manipulators, it, you're gonna have to. They it has to be ended completely with them. I'm talking about master manipulators because the and that's why somebody is learning how to take a page out of a loved one's book and just move on, like physically move on and cut ties. That may seem like. For some people, that's why we it's going to bring you to the King of Swords and like really get to your throne and like look at it from a very wise standpoint. Like, okay, now it makes sense why you have a loved one that just moved on, carefully vetted their thoughts, moved on, and didn't look back. Now it makes sense. Something is going to make so much sense now. Because it does make you depressed. It makes you feel like, okay, being around shady people, it just makes it just make it makes your it it literally just causes it makes it worse. It just it just makes it worse. Just constantly being around people like that, it just makes it worse. But somebody just like I said, it, it just makes it worse. better off you don't you don't you don't want to drink you don't want to put you don't want to be on medication you want to be around clear-minded people who are motivated to be around like other creative energies like clear water creative energies right you don't want to be cloudy in your mind you want to be clear-headed so you can be around you know creative <laughs> energies you don't want to be around shady people. So, 
um, somebody may be having some kind of, um, you know, be feeling some kind of way. You know, just kind of, yeah, learning how to just patch some things up, you know, just kind of. Yeah, here we have the two of wands here. Yeah, um, kind of back in the saddle again. Maybe back in the saddle again. Somebody may have new love in their life. So, definitely moving on. The scales from your eyes are definitely off now. Might definitely see some things. Here we have seven. Yeah, definitely see some things with two energies now. Two energy, two types of energies, right? Two types of energies. Yeah. How two types of energies could cause somebody to be depressed. They don't, they, um, they, when I say two types, it could be linked to, it could be linked to a lot of different energies, right? But it's two, definitely two types of energies, different two types of energies. Yeah, so, so you're now seeing that you've always been good enough. You've already been, always been smart enough. You've just always been enough, right? So somebody's now starting to learn their power of being in hermit mode, learning how to be in receiving mode, getting your downloads, flushing all those toxins out. You know, somebody's really learning now. Right, taking the blindfolds off. Am I really learning how to take these blindfolds off? Somebody's taking the blindfolds off. Am I really learning how to see? Okay, at first I was at an impasse. I'm not in an impasse anymore. I'm not in an impasse. I'm not indecisive anymore. I've made a decision. I've made a decision. I need to move on past this disappointment. I need to snap out of it. Get to work. I need to get to work. So yeah, now it's time to plant some new seeds. Now it's time to plant some new seeds. Time to plant some new seeds. So, so the new seeds that somebody is definitely planting is just like closing your vault door. Somebody's now, this is what I've been saying the whole time, keep people out of your business. Source has been trying to tell people you got some very shady people who would copy all of your ideas. I'm trying to keep this as high vibrational as possible. We're starting out at Seven of Cups. That is the Devil card in the Minor Arcana, for real. This is just like temptation. People who try to mirror people, try to make people feel like they don't know. I mean, try to. This is the Seven of Cups is really a people who like basically make you feel like you can be replaced. Like I can go get somebody better than you. Basically, you can be replaced. That's basically what I'm trying to tell you. You can be replaced. When really nobody can be replaced. Nobody can be replaced. Um, and so from now on, somebody's going to really, when, whenever you're in spaces where people basically are... If you tell a person that you make me feel like you can replace me and that person basically says, I don't want you, or they making you feel like I'm going to choose somebody else over you, as an adult, you're going to now say, please choose them. Please don't choose me. I'm good. Please choose them. If it's dating, family, whomever, leave my name off the list. I know my worth and I know my value. That's what people, that's what somebody, a prayer warrior's prayer has been for you, that you know your worth and your value. So that you're never used as a pawn again. So 
ask source for clarity. Take some time to decide. It's time to do a throat chakra cleanse. But some people's plan to disrupt your money backfired. And that's what this is right here. It's like some, and I've been saying it. Somebody is extremely creative, extremely smart, extremely creative. But when you're around shady people and it was like two energies together, working together, two energies trying to work together, trying to come up against somebody, trying to like on both sides, on both sides, right? But they're planning to disrupt your money, backfire. You won. But I'm telling you, you got a prayer warrior watching. When we talk about we got a prayer warrior watching, information news was traveling. Information was traveling. That's what somebody don't understand. This is saying like even though somebody had already moved on, people were already talking to other people. So much better lies ahead. Throw chakra cleanse. Take time to decide. That's why I keep trying to tell you all, you know, Capricorn, everybody don't have to know everything, but a prayer warrior don't have to know exactly what to pray for. They just need to know that just pray that you're operating in purpose. That's it. Pray that Capricorn is covered on all sides that no weapon formed against you is prospering. No weapon. None. That's no weapon. That's black magic, dark spells, nothing. People trying to take your money, set you up. None of Nothing is prospering. It doesn't mean that, you know, so it's so, so soon that you, you know, it's time for you to dream even bigger. But somebody's not happy without you. So it's like, you better learn this lesson, like quick, fast, and in a hurry, learn it. Don't be confused. They, somebody's not happy without you, but your next love interest will make you happier. Do, don't, do not go backwards. <laughs> Your next love interest will make you happier. Drink more water as a form of self-care. Somebody's still telling lies about you, but do not care. Pull up, pull out the sword, the sword of truth. Cut off the emotion. Don't care. Don't care. It's time to do a heart chakra cleanse. Pray and meditate. Your ancestors are proud of you. Your peace is paramount. Somebody has a very bitter ex. Does somebody connected to them like you? Okay, you don't care. The best is yet to come. Open your vault door. So don't forget that rest is a form of self-care. Yeah. Solar plexus chakra cleanse. Somebody has to understand how powerful um, when you're under when you're under a, a spiritual attack. That's what this is. Being under a spiritual attack. And when you lose loved ones, it will put you directly under attack. Directly under attack because that's at the less like a gaping hole. Because you just so distraught and confused, like, oh my God, somebody died. Or something happened, somebody moved away, like just confused, like <laughs> um, something happened, lost a job, divorce, kids out of control. If you got kids, I mean, just like what in the world? I mean, this that's what sword energy, sword energy feels like, just like you just powerless and just like you just feel like you don't even have any sense like just stupid that's what it feels like because it goes right to power and intellect like you just you're not even like and that's where the devil comes in that's where the devil comes in so that's where you want to extend yourself some grace and really start the process of focusing on healing that's where you want to start focusing on healing It really is okay to say, you know what? I'm not thinking straight right now. No, it, it's just, it's a no. 
time to go into hermit mode. That's why some people just like, you know what? I'm in hermit mode right now. I don't feel like going out. I don't care what people think. For real. Why they stay in the house all the time? That's none of their business. <laughs> I wonder if they're okay. They fine. They are healed. You don't know how they, they're healing from something. Maybe they like staying in the house. They minding their business, getting some fresh air. Maybe they like sitting in a window like a house plant. <laughs> you don't know what they... They minding their business. They working. Maybe they studying. Maybe they reading books. But they minding their business. Healing. They're not bothering you. They minding their business. That's what Source is trying to tell somebody. Staying away from snakes. So somebody is learning how, somebody is starting to make sense now. Something is starting to make sense. Somebody's money is going to start growing. Because your motivation is starting to change. Your motivation is starting to change. You're no longer motivated by certain things anymore. You're not motivated by, you know, people who, like I said, copycat energy. People who like to copy. Every, you work so hard to do things. You put your blood, sweat, and tears and stuff. And then people just come and steal it and copy everything you do. And then, you know, try to... Um, you know, you know, try to do I play like try to make you look like you stupid, like try to make it seem like, you know, you copied off of them, try to get you into an argument, try to use you as a pawn. I mean, just do all kinds of crazy mess just to steal your money, do all kinds of stuff. Try to make you seem like you're not smart enough, you're not good enough, jump to conclusions, do all kinds of just crazy mess. Then try to sue somebody. All this just vain, vengeful, green with envy. Try to use people. Try to start fights. You know, I mean, just stupid. Nobody want to be around that gutter, low vibrating mess. And it's not even out of fear. It's out of wisdom. That's out of wisdom. So I am blessed with an abundance of abundance. I always have what I need. I'm irresistible magnet for prosperity. I claim all forms of ethical wealth as mine by divine right. Trust me, that tower is going to fall on the ones that put you in that position. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing they can do to stop it. Nothing. So make yourself a meal. There's absolutely nothing they can do to stop it. Freedom. I am free to be me. I am free to live fully. I am present in this moment. I'm not bound by my circumstances. I am stronger than fear or doubt. I have the power to create a new reality. And the power to create a new reality. It's time to take action. And this is really somebody who's just like, you know, like learning how to be structured and authoritative. So this is the light side of emperor energy, right? So it's never it's your way or the highway. I mean, we're not each other's gods. I don't know how many times I can say that in my read. We're not. We're not each other's gods. Anybody that says it's their way or the highway, for real, run. Run for the hills. It's 
So that is what I have for you. So when you start thinking about like, um, you know, what is stopping you from living your ideal life? So she's saying that's what's stopping you from living your ideal life. Hanging around people who really believe that you're replaceable. Okay. You know what? You feel like you can replace me with better? I think that's where you need to be. You need to be with them. You only have to tell me one time. You can go get better. Please do. He or she looks better than me. They smarter. They better fit. I think that's where you need to be. Yep, them. Go, yep, that's, they look better. Yep, go get them. You can have them. We, we don't need to argue. We, we don't need to compare. That, yep. Five plus five is 600. That's it. Because you're not the jealous type. You're limitless. So see yourself open to receive. In the most miraculous ways, the divine can use anything and anyone. That's right. Go where you are appreciated and not where you are tolerated. Take the blindfolds off. Somebody is really learning that when you're around people who want to see you in survival mode because they don't see where you come from. They don't see you've already gone through a lot of hurt and a lot of pain. They want to see it for themselves. Those are the people you need to get away from quickly because you've already gone through enough. They want to see it for themselves. So they got to use you as a pawn. I want to, I want to see them in pain. I want to see them cry. I want to see them hurt. Get away from them. I can't say it any clearer. <laughs> Just get away from them. So here's your number. 31. I am disciplined. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both uh, practicality and imagination. Your mind is staring with creative ideas and you have the originate original skills or excuse me organizational skills to manifest them to life yeah and you're on anybody who wants to see you cry and struggle and they haven't they don't know what you've gone through behind closed doors they just all they doing is listening to other people oh they life is so easy and you know, and they don't, they don't struggle like everybody else do. And they don't, we, you know, and they intentionally go right into trying to make your life hard. Get as far away from them as possible. I don't know one human being on planet earth who has gone through, not one. So get rooted. Get where you all are appreciated and not where you all are tolerated. You all are strong. That is what I have for you all. I will see you all in the next video. But again, start thinking about that overarching theme. What is stopping you from living your ideal life? You do not have to go out and buy fluorite. It's just a stone, but that's something you can start thinking about in your mind, right? Fluoride is just a stone that, um, like I said before, um, gives order to chaos. That's it. It just gives order to chaos, but you can think about it. You don't have to go out and buy that. You can just think about it. Just think about it. And that is the leading card right there, Seven of Cups. That is, um, that's like the devil card in the minor arcana. Like, what are the temptations? And that seems to be somebody's temptation. That seems to have somebody to jump to conclusions, right? That seems to kind of block the flow of things when you are in an environment where people are basically te teaching, I mean, excuse me, treating you like you can easily be replaced. But it's, it's an intention. It's intentional. It is an, you can see the eye movement, the, the shiftiness, the... You know, they can see you getting disappointed. They can see you getting sad, maybe even crying about it or, 
you know, feel they can almost feel you feeling like you're just feeling defeated and they get joy, they get motivated, getting joy from all of that. There's no growth in it at all. They're not encouraging you, not pouring into you, nothing. They just actually get joy from hurting you. Source is saying, mm mm. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, it's a big no. So, <clears throat> that is what I have for you all. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.